my name is Jenny. Thanks for joining us today. It's getting to be spring and summer in some parts of the country. You may be noticing that moss, mold, mildew, and algae around your home, but what about lichen? At Wet and Forget, we get lots of questions from people about whether or not Wet and Forget will work on lichen. It will, but we do have some special instructions. You may be wondering how to identify lichen or even if you have it around your home. Lichen is typically found near large bodies of water. So if you live near a lake or an ocean or a stream, you might have lichen on your roof, siding, or deck. But overall, lichen really can grow anywhere, and we have found some here on this sign. You can see that lichen tend to grow in these circular, almost tree, plant-like shapes on the surface. They're often raised above the surface, and they can be green or yellow or even black in color. If you do find some lichen around your home, don't worry, Wet and Forget can get rid of lichen just as well as moss, mold, and mildew. However, we do have a few special application instructions for you. When you're applying Wet and Forget to lichen, mix it up as you normally would in your pump up or your backpack sprayer. Spray the area down that has the lichen, getting a good saturation. Then go back and repeat that before the first application dries. I've just finished my first application of Wet and Forget on this lichen. As you can see, I made sure I got a very good saturation covering the entire surface so that the Wet and Forget can soak in through each of these individual growths down to the wood. Now that I've completed my first application of Wet and Forget, I need to apply Wet and Forget a second time on this lichen. And you want to do the second application before the first one has dried, so I better get going because this is drying pretty quickly today. After two applications, these signs that have the lichen on them are treated and ready to go. We'll just need to give wet and forget some time to work. Remember when you're putting wet and forget on lichen to apply it twice. Once and then go back and spray it again before the first application dries. While I was spraying these signs, I noticed that we also have some lichen on this stone wall. We'll spray it down with wet and forget and you can check back later to see our after photos. Forget